Hello YouTube users. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to connect your PreSonus Atom to the Kong software by reason. So the first thing you want to make sure is that your Atom controller, this guy here, uh, is actually refreshed. I found that mine was locked up. I had to unplug it from the USB port, plug it back in, and then all was good. So here's the first thing you want to do. Um, you have to keep in mind that uh, Kong, in reason, will pick up channel 1 from your Atom Personas controller. Okay, And all of these buttons on the side here and the knobs up on top, those are all broadcasting on channel 1. However, the pads are broadcast on channel 10. Kong doesn't know how to receive that channel. So the easiest thing to do is the following. Hold the shift button down here. And once you do that, and keep in mind I'm kind of using my camera here with one hand, so I'm sorry for the jitteriness. Uh, but go ahead and push on this shift button. Hit setup. And then you'll see the pad illuminates like this. So the drums are actually, or the pads rather, are broadcasting on this channel. That's what it should look like when you start this up. You just want to basically tap pad 1, and now the 16 pads will broadcast on channel 1. You're all set with the Atom Personas controller. Now let's go over to uh, Kong in Reason. And to clear out, just tap the setup button here on the right. And you're back where you were. So once again... The 16 pads here are now broadcasting on channel 1 versus the default of channel 10. Okay, so the first thing you want to do in Reason, if you haven't already done so, uh, is to set up your Atom. I'll go through this real quickly. Simply go to Edit, Preferences, and you're not going to automatically detect. You're basically going to uh, add this manually. So you're going to choose this, and then uh, there is no PreSonus presets in here, so choose Other. And then I'm not going to select the Atom as a surface. That's one of the choices. I'm going to use MIDI Control Keyboard. So once that option is selected, you'll go here and give it a name. I'm just going to type in Atom. And then for the MIDI input, go ahead and choose Atom. Click the word Find, and on your Atom controller, hit the Play button, which is the green button on the lower right, and we can see that locked in, so I'm going to go ahead and click the Choose button, and now my Atom is set up to work with uh, Reason. So I'll click OK, and you can see it's listed. Make sure it's not in this section here. If you do see the atom down here, uncheck the checkbox. So let's go ahead and close out. Okay, so now that we have assigned the 16 pads on the atom to channel 1, Kong should work nicely with the knobs, the buttons, and the 16 pads. I'm going to go ahead and open up a preset that I have, which is this one right here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the tab button. So you can see the front. And I'm going to scroll over to Kong, which uh, is now showing on the screen here. If you don't have this, go ahead and just take the Kong Drum Designer and drag it into the Reason Rack. At this point, I want to make sure my pads are assigned correctly using MIDI Channel 1. I'm going to go ahead and click this button here on the right. That's the Quick Edit Mode button. And on pad number one, I want to make sure it's lined up with pad number one on the Atom. So I'll go ahead and choose Edit Remote Override Mapping. At this point, you want to go ahead and choose your Atom. You can leave this alone. Now I'm going to press pad number one on the Atom, and we should get uh, information where it says Note Number. If it's not on channel number one, that will remain empty. Great. 
I just pressed pad number one on the Atom and it is receiving a signal on channel one. That's pretty much it. I wanted to keep this illustration short, brief, and to the point. If you're not getting anything here, that is an indication that your 16 pads are not broadcasting on MIDI channel number one. Just go back to the beginning of my tutorial, try that again, and repeat the process until you get a reading. And just to show you a little bit more evidence, I'm going to tap pad number two on the Atom uh, controller, and you can see it picks up C sharp one. So all of that's correct. I hope this has helped you. If you have any questions, please drop them below in the comments. Kindly click the like button. And thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Have a great day.